And welcome back to the Storytime Couch with Jesse V. I want to make like a different name for it, like the Big Comfy Couch or something, but we can't do that. That's taken. That's taken. That's a show. <laughs> what are we going to call it? I know the Storytime Couch is kind of what we're calling it now, but I think it needs more adjectives. The V. What's something with a V that's furniture? I don't know. I don't think there's any furniture that starts with a V that's a type of seat. The Unless you go to Ikea, they probably have something there. Yeah, they would. Yeah. The voluptuous V couch. What does voluptuous even mean? Because look at this. It means squishy. <laughs> Actually, I don't really know. I don't think that's what voluptuous <laughs> means, Jess. Voluptuous, like, like, volu like, this is the signal I would do for voluptuous, like, voluptuous. Squishy. What does voluptuous mean? I'm gonna look that up. I don't know. I thought it meant like gorgeously squishy. Gorgeously squishy? Like when I think of a pillow, I think of voluptuous. But that might not be the right way to think of voluptuous. I don't think that's what most people use voluptuous for. Voluptuous lips because your lips are like squishy. Right? Isn't know. that what it means? Yes, I've Volum never used voluptuous, voluptuous in any of my phrases in my entire life. Watch, everyone watching is like, that's not what voluptuous means, Jess. Okay, it means, oh, curvaceous. Okay. That's just making it more confusing. But this is curvaceous. Look at this. It's curvy. It has squish. Curvaceous. Voluptuous. Why don't they just say curvy? Why must it be curvaceous? Curvaceous. I don't it's know. It's like scrum trilescent, Jess. Whatever that means. Anyways, after we've had our spelling, not our spelling lesson, our word definition lesson, we're gonna move on. Today we're talking about Willy Wonka, as you can tell by the title of this video, because a few days ago I did a video about all the creepy things that we did as kids, and in that video I talked about the creepy tunnel scene from Willy Wonka, where they're driving through, and there's like flashes of images all over the place. They're all of like bugs and really creepy things. I was gonna ask you if there was stuff like that. I feel like that movie traumatized a lot of our generation and the generation before yeah, us. Yeah, it traumatized a lot of kids. So in the comments of that video, you guys were saying how I should do a whole main channel video about Willy Wonka, but I can't think of like enough content for that to make a whole main channel video. So I thought that Ty and I would just talk about Willy Wonka on this channel over here on Vlogs because there's not a ton of stuff, but there's enough to like talk about it for a while, so. We can be silly about it. We can be. We can definitely be silly about yes, it. And I'm wearing a new shirt. I don't really know what it is, but it looks like a tarot card or something with a sun and a moon on it. Is it called a tarot card or a tarot card? Oh, tarot, tarot. I don't know. Why don't we know words today? What's wrong with us? We've been in the house we've, for way too long. Yeah, we've been isolated for too long. We okay. need to go back to school. <laughs> so before we get into the creepy things about Willy Wonka, today's video is sponsored by Sarah Candle Company. The Sarah Candle Company makes 100% all natural, clean burning, soy based candles. What's great is that their candles are made completely free of toxins and additives. Their candles come in a wide variety of scents as well as sizes. So no matter the room, there's a candle for you. And the best thing of all is that all of their candles are at an affordable price and there's tons to choose from. Sarah candles were created with both quality and affordability in mind. All of their candles are handcrafted using 100% soy wax and fragrance oils that are infused with natural essential oils. They use the best ingredients and quality packaging all at an affordable price. They have eliminated toxins, carcinogens, and pollutants that can be present in paraffin wax candles. So not only does this mean you can enjoy your candles guilt-free, it also means that their candles are less likely to provoke allergies. And also, soy candles are known to last about 30 to 50% longer than regular paraffin wax candles. So you can enjoy your candles for even longer. So Ty and I each picked out two candles that we thought that each of us would like from the ones they sent to us. So I chose the lavender one and the vanilla hazelnut. So I'm gonna smell the lavender one first. I love lavender. 
It smells delicious. It smells like a spa or something. That's well, why I love it. Well, it smells like relaxation in a can, basically. Yeah, like it's just so fresh. So I love the lavender one. And then this is the vanilla hazelnut. These are two of my favorite things to eat and to smell. So this smells great too. Reminds me of fall, reminds me of just like being outside, like so good. I just like that the candles that you picked are basically your favorite seasons. Like, <laughs> yeah. lavender is very relaxing. It's right when everybody starts winding down. Vanilla hazelnut, you do like your vanilla everything. Yes, very yes. true. And for me, since I really do enjoy being outside, we have hydrangea and we have desert oasis, which hydrangea, I've always been a fan of plant-based scents and this is absolutely fantastic. And then we have our desert oasis, it just smells so fresh. It's yeah. amazing. It really is. We're gonna have some rooms that are all a whole bunch of different scents in our house. I know, I can't wait. <laughs> so thank you, Sarah Candle Company, for sponsoring this video. I will leave the links to their website down below in the description. You guys should definitely check them out. And if you get some of their candles, definitely tweet me or comment down below which scent that you chose. Okay, so let's move on and talk about Willy Wonka. So I know when my grandma first introduced me to this movie back when I was a kid, obviously the actual movie came out a long time before I was born, probably in the 70s or 80s, I'm guessing. So my grandma told me this one time when I was a kid, hey, we should watch this really cool movie. There's like chocolate and this huge like candy exploration place and it's gonna be so cool to watch. And I was like, oh, Willy Wonka, it sounds like such a fun, uplifting movie. It is. Well. For the first little while, you know. The first, like, and, and then, you know, some children start disappearing after some workplace accidents, you know. <laughs> okay, it sounds fun, right? Because, okay, there's gonna be this golden ticket you're gonna find in one of the chocolate bars. Sounds so cool. When I was a kid, I really wanted that to happen to me. So they all go in, things seem normal, right? Actually, not even really, because when they first go in, he locks them in a closing room. Do you remember that part? They all start getting crushed in a room together. So we're gonna go one by one into the creepiest things that everyone as a whole sort of agrees, you know, what's weird about Willy Wonka. So, does that make sense? So we're gonna talk about the creepiest parts of the movie that everyone on the internet agrees with. So I've been looking at different sites and a lot of the stuff is the same. So the first one is Willy Wonka's creepy henchman. Do you remember him? He had like the glasses. I think he might've been bald even. He always wore that hat. No, I don't. Do you I've, remember this movie? <laughs> I remember having the VHS of it. It's just, I don't remember that. I really don't. I do not remember it in the slightest. Another creepy thing is those hand coat hangers when they first walk into the factory and it just takes their coats from them. It reminds me of something from like that Labyrinth movie. Yeah, the Helping Hands. Yeah, the Helping Hands. <laughs> but for a second, I'm like, it's not a Pan's Labyrinth. So I go, wait, Labyrinth, okay. <laughs> this is a list that literally everyone on the internet put together. Everybody, everybody, on everybody, myself included. <laughs> the next really weird thing is the fact that Willy Wonka has a bunch of Oompa Loompas just working for him. So he has like slaves basically that works in these factories. And didn't he say he got them from somewhere in the world? Like he was traveling and was like, oh, I want these people to work in my factory for me. I know in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like the remake that they made, they tried to make it seem like it was an indigenous people that he pays with chocolate. But in the original, I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know. Yeah, and can we talk about how creepy their song is? Like whenever like one of the kids like disappears or dies in a creepy way. <laughs> workplace accidents, Jess, just workplace oh, accidents. It's, like, oompa, loompa, doopa -dee -doo. it's so creepy. I'm pretty sure I had a nightmare with that soundtrack in my dream when I was a kid so many times. I'm gonna just like get some cutouts of Oompa Loompas and just start hiding them <laughs> in the house for you now. No, it's scary. What are the lyrics of that song? I've got a present just for you. How does it so, go? They change it all the time and it has like that funky text that goes with it as well as they're singing. So messed up, so messed up. Okay, so let's go into what happens to each kid because it is so messed up. So we're gonna start with Augustus Gloop and he falls into the chocolate river and then gets sucked up that like tube pipe thing and he gets stuck while he's being sucked up there. And I remember watching as a kid thinking, oh my gosh, I can't breathe while watching this. Like it's so freaky, I'm claustrophobic. Well, what's really bad about it is that it's supposed to be liquid chocolate. Yeah. Liquid chocolate to be in a liquid state is really hot. So hot. So he's probably like burning in there. Yeah. But you're right. 
If, it was, chocolate chocolate, heart if it was chocolate milk, that would be different. No, but it was the chocolate river. I don't think they went into too much detail. But if you've ever melted chocolate before, it is hot. It has to be hot. And it can burn you. And it's just so weird because whenever these kids are like going through these like creepy events, Willy Wonka just stands there and is like, uh oh. Oh no. And doesn't like do anything. He has so many Oompa Loompas, they could all go help. But he's always like, oh, whoops. You know what I mean? So when I was a kid, I was like, what? He's just very sadistic. He's like, oh, poor thing. And just like standing there, like waiting for it to happen. So messed up, so messed up. Everything is just so messed up. So messed up. So messed up. Okay, and then we have the boat ride which we were just talking about. And one of the creepiest things is it shows a chicken getting, getting its, its head, head cut off. Yeah. Are you joking and me? And there's spiders and all that stuff. I don't understand, like it comes right out of left field with that. Yeah. It's just unexpected. Like, of course, right when this happens, something just happened to Augustus Gloop. So everyone's a little freaked Uneasy, out about it. right? And then why is there like a psychological tunnel. torture tunnel in a chocolate factory? <laughs> Up. All right, so the next thing that went wrong was Violet. She turned into a blueberry. And the creepy part is that they had to take her to be squeezed. To be squeezed. Do you want to be squeezed a little bit? No. <laughs> <laughs> then we move on to the part where Willy Wonka almost chops up Charlie and, Charlie his, and his grandpa. Grandfather. Yeah. Well, Willy Wonka didn't do that. It's just they snuck off and did it themselves. But. It's revealed at the end that like Willy Wonka sort of knows everything that's happening. He knows, he like knows the future. Well, th there's basically a moral to this entire movie. And I think I know why they use scary methods and all this stuff is to try and teach children to listen, to behave properly. Because they were given rules. In every it's single just, room they yeah. went to, Willy Wonka was like, don't do this, don't do this. And the kids would do it. And then they would see the consequences, right? Yeah, but the consequences were like absolutely insane. They were ridiculous. Yeah, it's like potentially dying sort of insane. Yeah. Well, you assume that all the kids sort of died when you were watching it, right? No. They just went missing. Okay, Veruca goes down a garbage chute. Yeah. You can survive. Have you seen action movies? They always <laughs> jump into the dumpster. This wasn't Don't an do that. Movie. Nobody ever jump into a garbage chute or a dumpster. There's tons of sharp objects in garbage. Yeah, but Willy Wonka says, oh no, this is the day the furnace is on. As a joke. No. The way he says it? But the parents go and save them. When you're a kid watching it, you're like, oh no. And then there was that kid who goes into the room and like things turn small, right? The TV room. The TV room. Well, he was a cowboy actually, a very young cowboy. <laughs> and then he gets turned into tiny pieces and like disintegrates into the sky or something. So basically what it was, it's the same as how the new one does it, is that they want to send the Wonka bars to the TV so you could just yeah, grab it. reach out and grab it. But TVs, of course, aren't regular size, so they need to have something really big. But when they transfer it to the TV, it gets really small. So it kind of adjusts itself to the size of the pictures. But if you put a person in there, they become a little person. So they basically disintegrated the kid yeah. and then kind of reorganized his molecules and put him somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of like shrunk the space between his particles. But then they wanted to put him into the taffy pulling machine to like make him regular size again. I'm but pretty sure there's torture devices that are like that. That's what I was going to say. In medieval times, they had like the pulling machine, which they would like put people's hands up on a thing and their feet down on another thing and they would like pull them apart. Yeah. For like that's... torture. We don't need to go into torture no. devices. So then we have the flying elevator, which was really, really cool. And then at the very end, you find out what this all was about. And Willy Wonka wants to transfer all of his fortune, all of his candy, his whole entire factory onto Charlie because he was like the only one who listened to the rules, who wasn't- He broke the rules actually. But he wasn't like the other kids who were like naughty and like messed up. Spoiled. Spoiled. But wasn't the glass elevator just like a gold rocket ship? Yeah, it looked like it. <laughs> <laughs> Not really a glass elevator, but anyways, though. So the whole like conspiracy is people are saying this movie is very similar to like Saw movies, but like in a more like... <laughs> no, I don't want to think of it like that. But in a more like kiddish way, because like they go into this place and then one by one they have these sort of like challenges and each person gets like taken away, they die one by one. So they're like, oh, this is like Lee Wonka's version of Saw, which is kind of creepy. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't want to think of it like that. No. Stop ruining my childhood already. <laughs> the movie already did a number. Don't make it worse. Fun version of Saw. Anyway, so those are all of the creepy things that people think about when they think about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So yeah, if you guys have any that we missed, comment down below. I know this movie is very old and now I kind of want to watch it again. It sounds like movie night. So, movie night. Willy Wonka. I feel like we should get some candy to eat while we're doing it yeah. though. Yeah. They have Wonka candies in real life. They do. That could be a good baby. They don't have Wonka candies. Everlasting Gobstoppers though. They don't have them. They have Gobstoppers? Yeah, but not Everlasting Gobstoppers. No, not Everlasting. Anyways, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below anything extra that we did not cover and have a good rest of your day and we'll see you in our next one. Bye. See you guys. Bye.